Today we will need a worsted weight 4 yarn, a fuzzy bulky weight 5 yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle, two hair ties, and of course scissors. So we are starting off with the purple scrunchie here. So grab your four millimeter crochet hook, make a slip knot and pop it on there. The first thing that we are gonna do is make a foundation chain of 75. Okay, so I just finished my 75 chains right here. If you wanna make your scrunchie um, a little bit scrunchier than this one, then just continue making chains. So now what we're going to do is go back on our chain with half double crochets. So what I'm going to do is skip that first stitch and go right into the second chain from our hook right here. So this chain that's already on our hook is going to count as our turning chain. So to half double crochet, we yarn over, insert into that second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And if you need more help on this, I will link my half double crochet video in the corner. So we're just gonna continue making half double crochets in every single chain all the way down our chain right here. Okay, so after row one, you should now have 75 stitches in total. So for row two, we're gonna chain up one and flip our work. All right, and we're gonna be making single crochets in each stitch all the way down. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. So let's insert into the very first stitch, yarn over, pull through with two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both two, and that's a single crochet. So I'm gonna make one single crochet in each stitch all the way down row two. Okay, so now after we are done with row two, what we're gonna do is continue to repeat rows one and two until we have reached seven rows in total. So you are gonna end on a row of half double crochet. Okay, so I just finished doing seven rows in total of the repeating row one and two. So I finished on a half double crochet row. So now what we're gonna do is you're going to get a really long piece of yarn. I would say to be safe, make it um, twice as long as your piece that you just made. And then what you wanna do is cut your yarn. As you can see, I've already done this. So after you have done that, what you're gonna do is chain up one and pull that yarn all the way through. Okay, and then we're gonna pull tight. Now we'll need a darning needle and our hair tie. So with the darning needle, what we're gonna do is just place our yarn through the eye right there. I think that's what it's called. Okay. And then we are going to take our hair tie and we are gonna start folding our little piece that we made and weaving the ends together all the way around the hair tie. So I'm just gonna tuck my little tail end in right there and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to take my darning needle, go through that very first stitch right there, and then find the corresponding stitch on the other side and then just insert and weave it all the way through. Okay, and we're just gonna be doing this back and forth. So there's the other one, I'm sorry, the second one find the corresponding stitch and then weave all the way through and we are just going to continue doing this going back and forth all the way down our scrunchy piece so we're just folding it together around our hair tie So as you can see, it's getting a little more difficult right here, and this is where we're just going to kind of pull our hair tie out, and that's what's gonna give it the scrunchy effect. So just gonna continue doing this.
and just continue moving up like so. Okay, we're at the last stitch right here. Alrighty. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like so far. We'll play with it later to make it look a little nicer. So the last thing that we have to do is to seam together this portion right here. So it's very easy. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did, but instead we're just gonna go around. So I'm gonna insert, and this is not gonna be very exact, we're just trying to kind of insert in these same-ish spaces on both of these sides. And we're just gonna do that all the way around. So we'll try to line it up as best we can. There's not gonna be any actual stitches to go into, just spaces. So just try to get into the same matching spaces on both sides. And I'm not weaving back and forth here. I am just going through the same space. So it's kind of making loops around it. You can of course weave um, back and forth. It may look a little bit neater that way. Okay, so we're about back at the beginning right here. So I'm just gonna go into these two spaces. And I'm not gonna finish off this. As you can see, there's still a loop right here. I'm just gonna place my darning needle right through it and then pull up straight and it makes kind of a loop. And I will do that one more time. Okay, go through that loop and pull. Just gives it a little, a nice little knot there. And then what I would do is just weave my ends through, but I never, show how to weave the ends through so i'm not going to start doing it right now but anyways just weave the end into your scrunchie and that is going to be it for this one to make it a little bit fluffier i also like to just kind of like take my darning needle through a few of these stitches and just kind of start pulling it out just to kind of fluff it up a little bit okay so once you work that all to your liking it will be complete So for the second scrunchie, we will need a hair tie, a six millimeter crochet hook, and our fuzzy yarn. So what we're gonna do first is take that yarn and make a double knot around our hair tie. I'm only gonna make one knot here just in case I have to take this apart again. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is insert our hook through the hair tie like so, and then I'm gonna yarn over, pull a loop through my hair tie, and then chain up two, so one and two. And now all we are gonna do for this scrunchie is make double crochets all the way around our hair tie. So I will yarn over, insert my hook through the hair tie like so, then yarn over and pull through the hair tie. Then with three loops on our hook, we will yarn over, pull through the first two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. All right, and we're just gonna continue to do that all the way around our hair tie. Okay, so as you can see this right now, there's no scrunchy effect going on. So what we're gonna do is just push all of those double crochets that we have made over to the side and it's gonna start making a scrunchy effect. So then we're just gonna continue to keep double crocheting all the way around. And you can continue to push all of your stitches to the side while you do this as well. 
Okay, so I just made 75 stitches and you can see it has that scrunchy effect. So now the last thing that we're gonna have to do is make a slip stitch into our very first stitch right here. So it's a little bit difficult to see, but just feel around for it if you're using fuzzy yarn. So we'll insert yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Then we'll just chain one, grab our scissors and leave a little bit of a tail, give that a cut, and then pull straight up and through, then tighten that up, and then you just get your darning needle and weave this end in as well. Okay, and that is gonna be it for this scrunchie, which is much more beginner friendly than I think our first one. And that's gonna do it for this tutorial today. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, share, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe. I make weekly crochet content over here on YouTube as well as on my blog, which I will link down below as always. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram for more daily crochet content, and especially Instagram if you want some more behind the scenes stuff. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video.